Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Pandora's Creatures, a mod which adds some new creatures and items into Minecraft, which I think are a step up from a lot of similar mods as this one has great animation, texturing, and modeling work. Luckily this mod is available for the latest version of Minecraft 2, and you can find the link in the description below. The first creature is the Arachnid, which is a four-legged weird-looking creature that you'll find spawning during the night in both the plains and mountain biomes. It deals quite a bit of damage and has some cool animations where it will take side swipes at you. The mob has 80 health in total, so it might be difficult to kill early on in the game. If you do kill it, then you'll find that it drops arachnid crystals, which can be used to craft the arachnid hammer, a new mining tool which digs out blocks in a 3x3 area. Next up is the crab, which is a very small peaceful creature that you'll find spawning on both beaches and in warm ocean biomes. When killed, it will drop crab meat, which can be cooked and eaten to regain hunger. One of the coolest features is that crabs have a similar mechanic to parrots, where they will dance near jukeboxes, doing their own little crab rave. If you want to transport crabs, then you can pick them up with a bucket of water. Another water-based creature is a seahorse, which spawns in oceans, with all different sizes and colors. There's 55 different variations to come across. Just like crabs, you can pick them up with a bucket of water to transport them, and they'll drop some raw food when killed, which can be cooked and eaten. Due to their small size, seahorses would look great in any aquarium setups you might be building. The next creature isn't like normal mobs, as it's a plant, and it's called the acidic arc vine. You'll find it spawning in the jungle and nether. It's alien-like, as it hangs upside down from netherrack or jungle leaves before it grabs you with its tongue and sucks you in before slowly eating you. It's quite terrifying, really. You can make yourself immune to acidic arc vines by crafting the plant hat, which is a wearable item. The final mob that you'll find spawning in the overworld is the buffalon. It's a huge bull-like creature which spawns in colder and snowier biomes like the tundra in Frozen River. By creating an herb bundle from some of the new herbs included with the mod, you can feed it and try to tame it. Although it's very difficult as a buffalon will be constantly aggressive towards you and deal large amounts of damage. Once tamed, you can start controlling it by crafting the new buffalon saddle, which is a different item to regular saddles, but you still only obtain it by finding it in chess or by trading villagers. There's a second saddle slot where you can place either the player's seat to allow a friend to ride along, the small storage which gives 27 inventory slots, and the large storage which gives 54 slots instead. If you decide to kill buffalons instead, they'll drop meat as well as buffalon hide, which can be converted into regular leather. Moving into the nether, you'll start to find the Hellhound. It's hostile, so it will attack you on sight. And even though they don't deal much damage or have a lot of health, you'll quickly get overwhelmed by them as they spawn all over the dimension. You won't have much luck pushing them into lava either, as they're skeletal creatures, so have fire resistance. Each time a hellhound spawns, there's a small chance that a wither variant will spawn instead, which deals more damage, is bigger in size, and will hit you with the wither effect. The final creature included with this mod is the End Troll, which, as you'd expect, spawns in the End Dimension. You'll need to search the dimension for the new End Prison structure, which the troll is trapped inside. It has a lot of health, with 200 in total, so it's going to be very difficult to defeat. It deals huge amounts of damage with its melee attacks. Using End Troll skin, you can craft the End Troll box, which is like a shulker box. You can store items inside, carry it in your inventory, and dye it a lot of different colors. That's the end of this mod spotlight. If you like the look of this mod, you can grab it from the link in the description. Feel free to check out my channel too, as we've covered hundreds of mods here so far, and subscribe for more.